Hey guys, Ray from Love you RV. So back in December, I reviewed a TV antenna um, for RV use uh, called an Antop, and I said I'd be back uh, after I've used it uh, a bit to give you an update. Anyway, back then I found uh, I only tested in two locations. One was very fringe reception, and it actually did bring in quite a few more stations than my existing King Jack RV antenna that I that I bought for myself the prior year to replace uh, my previous OEM one, which is a WineGuard sensor. Uh, this one here is kind of spacey looking. Overall, it did a great job in weak signal areas compared it to better signal strength areas. Um, it's omnidirectional, so you don't have to point it, so that's kind of a plus. Um, although the way it mounts can kind of be awkward to put on an RV, there's no real good mounting points for it. You'd have to build yourself a little pole mount or something or, or stick it to the side. I found the best option was to use a flagpole. That way I could put it up and, and get it up kind of higher so you get a little better signal. Uh, so the hardware is kind of more aimed at uh, home use. Uh, I Like I said, I said I'd come back after a few months and let you know about some more location testing I did. So here's where I was able to to check it out and compare it to my King Jack. Uh, first off, we got Cibola National Wildlife Refuge here. The Antop brought in 20, 20 stations, King Jack 20, so not much difference there. Over in Kofi here, the Antop barely brought in four stations. They sometimes would be cutting out at night. They were okay during the day. They would cut out. The King Jack got absolutely zero in that location. Uh, closer to Quartzsite here, the Antop got 10 very distorted stations, a little better at night, King Jack 0. So it kind of proves that in kind of fringe areas it had a little better better range. Over here, Saddle Mountain was a curious one. The Antop brought in 6, but the King Jack, if I pointed it just precisely, I could get 28. And I think maybe that was because the the camping is near a mountainside. Now, I was thinking maybe I was getting just a weird reflection off the mountain that uh, was a very narrow beam that I was able to get the King Jack to pick up more stations than the Antop. Uh, I was in a lot of other locations where I was getting zero and zero, so I won't bore you with those. But up here, a couple more places I checked, Twin Falls, Idaho, both got 50. So it seems if you're near near a high strength area, they, they both seem to get the same amount. And right now I'm on the Snake River on the border of Idaho and, and uh, Oregon. The Antop is bringing in five distorted during the day, a little better at night, and then the King Jack is getting zero. So there you go. This uh, Antop is a little bit better for fringe areas. Uh, strong signal areas, both are pretty well identical. This thing's more of a pain to mount. What I've been doing is that I just put it away and when I want to use it, I get my flagpole holder out and mount it on that and run the cord in. Uh, one advantage is I can put it up higher than my King Jack. My King Jack is roof mounted here. I have to point my King Jack. This thing I don't have to point. The King Jack does have a, uh, a kind of a sensor, it's it's an LED arrangement where as you twirl it, the LEDs show you where the, the strong signal is. Um, that's kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you have to just sit there and trial and error, find as many stations as you can. Uh, so overall, they're kind of a, a wash unless you're in very fringe areas. Uh, I'll link back to my review of this and the installation for this if you're curious and also link back to my original post on this this one here. Uh, I'm going to keep this one actually cuz it's kind of kind of lightweight. I'm not adding any more weight to the rig and I have a place to store it. So it might be handy for me if I am in a real fringe area and I'm not getting any any stations. I can always throw this one up and see what I can get. Anyway, till next time, Ray from Love you RV. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.